Hey yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Denali, aka Don Squally, uh, back with probably the most predictable intro for you guys. Um, I don't know, who's got, who's got a really, really, uh, I don't know where I was going with that one, man. We're back with another video though. Um, hope you guys are having a good one. Uh, I know I am. As always, we're back with another YouTube request, man. You request them, I build them. The way the channel's been, you know, pretty much from day one, not going to lie. Um, but today's request comes from one of our loyal viewers, man. Yet Vinder Gakow on YouTube wants to see a Ford Pursuit drag build. Um, his request got 10 likes. Also, Sean D, Brendan Gaming and Unboxing, and Cam TV Gaming all want to see the same build, man. Um, now, I wasn't too sure about the Ford Pursuit, man. It's not something I'm very familiar with uh, until I looked it up and I realized that that's because this is not something that is actually sold in Canada. Is this the only model that we have to select from here? It looks like it is a whole lot of Fords, man. Holy, like, a lot, a lot of Fords, man. Like, what? ford nation bro look at how many fords there is dude can we get a few more nissans out here forza um but for this one obviously the 2014 fpv um pursuit now i'm not sure if the pursuit stands for like pursuit vehicle if these are used um predominantly in australia i'm gonna guess this is where this car came from um, I don't know. Are these cop cars in Australia? You guys let me know down in the comments section. Uh, one thing I do know, though, is that these things are super dope. Now, I watched a review. Uh, Doug DeMiro on YouTube, man, he did a review of a Holden, basically a left-hand drive Holden that was based off of a Pontiac G8. They uh, shipped over all of the Holden parts with the, uh, you know, the back truck bed type thing. Converted a Pontiac G8, and you can buy them for, I think, about 40 grand or something like that. You know, a complete Holden. Looks like a Holden, obviously, based off the G8 platform. Kind of the same idea as this, man. The, the, the Ute idea never really um, picked up here. We got the El Camino and the, what was it, the, uh, the Rant, the ranchero or whatever i believe the el camino and the four i think it was the ranchero and uh yeah aside that, that was back in like the 70s and stuff like that and the idea really just never picked up here in the states and canada obviously in australia a very uh you know lucrative business building these things now one thing i'm noticing right off of the bat body kits man let's go ahead and check out what the fr all right come on man is this a joke right now I mean, I guess in Australia, you guys need to, like, drive through the bush and, like, you don't want any kangaroos wrecking your bumper and stuff. But, like, all right, I'm just going to pretend that I was really hoping for a wide body. I saw the wide body there. We're just going to pretend that we're going to turn around and walk away slowly from that one there. Um, rear wheel drive, we're going to be keeping that platform. Now, this already has an LS motor in it from my, no, my mistake, I'm thinking. There I am, thinking of the Holden. This is a Ford, ladies and gentlemen. So this has a Ford motor. Um, five liter, it looks like. We got a five liter, man. Wonder if this is a stock aspiration. Uh, I'm going to assume that it is boosted just because they didn't give us the option for any turbo or supercharger, which, le which leads me to believe that's already on here, man. So we're going to keep our fingers crossed until we get there. Wheels and tires, we're obviously going to upgrade that tire compound. Um, I like the race tire compound on here. I'm not really feeling the tire letters, though. Um, obviously, widening up the tires both front and back. Looks like we got some hovercraft fitment going on here from the side, especially on the rear. Those, those definitely need some offset there. Come on, Forza, hook it up. Um... And yeah, let's see. Now the wheel selection. Obviously, you guys know how I roll. Uh, it takes me a few to look through the wheels, so I'll get back to you when I find one that, like, a set that I like. Now, upon uh, inspection of all these wheels, I'm really a big fan of these o o Wittinger Type RXX. I don't even know how to pronounce that. They look, uh, you know, they fill up the wheel pretty nicely. Now, obviously. 
we can't change the diameter of the tire but these tires really look too small for this uh hopefully lowering it will kind of even out that gap make it not look quite as goofy but to me it really looks like these tires are undersized for this car like the tire itself could go up one series i think um just height wise but obviously it's a video game we can't you know we can't win them all but we're gonna try our best here upgrade the brakes um lowering definitely helped uh quite a bit i'd say that wheel uh you know the wheel gap is definitely gone uh, up front a little bit in the back nothing too crazy uh, let's see some weight reduction i'm pretty happy with the way that that is looking now we're gonna go ahead and upgrade the exhaust and it does look like we're rocking a supercharger so this this almost like looks like a gt500 power plant in this thing man 2014 limited edition supercharged five liter i don't know man that's definitely a coyote motor in there there's no question about that um but as far as everything else goes i'm not going to get too carried away now this is predominantly going to be a drag build but i'm going to leave it rear wheel drive because i think it will also be very fun um just going around corners trying to be able to keep it straight i think we'll just add a whole nother level of fun to this vehicle um, so obviously the tuning we got to jump in here and adjust a few things now as you can see six gear man out to lunch completely gone we need to bring him back to reality here get a little bit better acceleration there as you can see uh, 4.038 a nice top speed nothing too crazy um, the camber surprisingly i'm going to leave the way it is on this one i'm just going to lower it i just want this thing to look nice perform nice nothing too crazy and then obviously the designs and paints now i do like the scheme for this uh this i don't know car i don't know it's a car or tr I'm, I'm confused right now about the whole situation i'm gonna be honest with you um i like i like the theme that where they have you know the the stripe and everything like that so i'd like to keep that Ah, <sighs> but I also really would like to have that stripe completely white as opposed to the gray. I really like the white on there too with the, oh no, your boy Don Squall, he's having some mixed feelings right now. It's like either that with black wheels or this with gray wheels to match the stripe. Let's, all right. Uh, no, I don't know. I'm confused, man. I'm having mixed feelings. All right, we're going out on a limb here, man. We're going to do the gray, and uh, we're going to paint the wheels. Oh, what? We lost the stripe, man. Come on, Forza. Y'all are killing me right now. All right, then. If we got to keep the white wheels, if we got to keep the white wheels, then, Forza, if you're going to be like that, dude, tell me we can at least tint the windows without losing the bloody... Oh, y'all got me messed up right now. Let me just see right now if we can get this, bring this on back. No, it takes the tin off. Y'all are some suckers for that. Forza, we can, can we fix that little glitch in the game, right? Like what? Because I tint my windows, now I all of a sudden got to lose my factory place stickers. You know, like they automatically fall off. That is not simulation, man. That is not how things happen in real life. Um, anyways, we got the color combo that we want, that white on white with the nice little black stripes there. I think it's going to look pretty good. Uh, like I say, the only thing I really would change is maybe some tint. Sounds like a Mustang. No question about that. That supercharger, though. Now, the one thing that I was thinking, uh, watching the review of this, uh, Holden is that I can't help but wonder how taking so much weight, like the rear seats, all the trunk and everything, from the back affects the launch of these cars, man. Now, obviously, that's going to affect the weight distribution quite dramatically, right? Very front-heavy vehicle. Um, I mean, obviously, suspension and you know, bushing can change all that stuff, but... I don't know, man. Some of you guys who are familiar with the Utes. Am I saying it right, the Ute, or is it a U-T-E? Because I got flamed on one of my videos saying I wasn't saying it right. 
I don't know. I just... That's what Doug Nero said. Um... But yeah, I don't know. This thing... We're having trouble keeping it in a straight line, which leads me to believe that my theory about having the light rear end... Wow, this is redlining like a mofo. Um, sorry, my theory about having the light rear end definitely affects the traction. Is what I'm... I'm going to go out on a limb and say that, but like I say, you you guys, let me know, man. Now, when this thing gets to the top of red line, when you're just about to shift, screams, man, in a good way. It's not like a screaming where you feel like the engine's going to blow up. It feels, sounds good, sounds very good. Oh, damn, that was a close one, man. That was a close one. Had we had gone through untouched, I would have been super, super like Xbox record that type stuff, but not quite. Look at this drift, man. This 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 thing's better suited as a drift build, man. My apologies. Because I know the request was for a drag build, but this, this is a cool little drift car, man. Very long though. But the one thing that I like about these Utes is that if I had one, I could drive this to work, style out, drive it to the street races, drive it to the racetrack. On the weekend, put my ATV in the back of it, drive it up north to my boy's place, and go off-roading. You know what I mean? I'm, I put it in the back. I mean, very cool concept, man. Uh, something I really wish that we had the means to here in Canada. Like I say, um, there's a company in the States that you can buy uh, a converted G8 that has the uh, Holden body and all that good stuff. 40 grand. Um, slightly out of my price range, but maybe one day. Maybe one day I could find one used here down in the old Canada's. You know, down in the old Canada's. Uh, but, um, I mean... Pretty legitimate build. Again, definitely one of those uh, types of builds that really wouldn't get done if, uh, you know, we weren't taking a couple weeks off here from doing our normal YouTuber uh, builds. Because, you know, most, let's face it, most YouTubers nowadays either drive GTRs or Miatas, which is really, I feel like the channel was getting flooded too much with those kinds of cars, right? But, uh, I feel like we got a, quite a few of the oddballs out of the way, man. So um, I guess we can get back to our regular scheduled program. But as always, I'm thinking we're probably going to put an end to this one. So if you enjoyed it, don't forget to smash that like button. If you guys want to see more, head on over to the Facebook page. And um, that's about it, man. I'm done talking that smack. So with that being said, I'm your boy, D. Nali, a.k.a. Nali Squally. As always, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. We gonna catch y'all, mofo. Oh, and he's in reverse. Idiot. We're gonna catch y'all, mofo. At the next one, man. Peace. Don't die. Oh shit, where you going, bro? Don't be creeping on my friend. Don't be creeping on my friend. You and your homie. Oh, nut shot. Nut shot. Oh, buddy. Let's go. And your boy, man. Get him out of here. Oh, you fucking...